four, three. Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Texas Star and we're back with another video of Minecraft Infinity Evolve Expert Mode. Hope everyone's doing okay and having a good day. Um, let me apologize right now if I sound a little hoarse. I've been fighting a little bit of sinus issues and things like that. I had to go see a doctor. He told me I don't have strep throat. I don't have the flu, but yeah, I'm a little hoarse because, yeah, sinuses, weather, winter, yeah, not good for me. So let's get into the game. Um, first of all, I want to sh we're back here in my old dugout that I dug um, when I originally started. Um, but I've already packed everything up, moved off. I found a new place I want to move to, start making a new camp. So we'll do that. Head out the door here. And took at least one of each of the berry bushes with me. Um, got a few things. You can see there's a new skelly spawner right there, straight ahead of me, about 350 meters out. That's going to be kind of near where the new home is. So, uh, just letting y'all know, just because I'm trying to get y'all updated, I am in currently in creator's mode. Is how I am flying. Um, just give y'all a little aerial view. I've had a run up and down this river path here many times around this around this hill here, because this is out here is where I've made the new area. Found a um, meteor strike right there. Hadn't opened it up yet. <coughs> Excuse me, right there. And as you can see, we're coming into the new home that I've started building. Woo, coming down in. This little area view of it. Um, I'll show, bring on the grid lines real quick right now just to show you the the spaces. I built this where the interior walls of the building is inside two complete chunks here. Um, that way, you know, I don't have to load many chunks that I don't want. I've actually made um, other other layers to this building. Just want to give you a top view of it. Here's my here's my new berry bushes to start planting. As you see, they've already from the one of each that I brought over, they've already expanded and. They're continuing to grow. We'll land here. Come here and take a look. And get rid of the grid lines. Now that we're over here, we'll get rid of creative mode. Uh, inventory. Recipe mode. We're back to survival. Yay! So here's my machines. I had to remake the metal former and the compressor here. Whenever you break them with a pickaxe, you just get the basic block back, so you have to rebuild them if you pick them with a pickaxe. So just FYI, when you, you can go to move them. Um, kind of got it powered up right now. You can kind of see right there underneath. You see one of the L wire connectors, LV wire connectors here. Because um, I have them completely, fully powered at all times now. We'll go down into the basement here. See, there's my Tinker Smelter here. Brought it over here. Brought it over the blast furnace. I mean, the Coke oven and then the blast furnace are both here. And then I built these four great big humongous things. I got four water wheels put in. Um, this is a lot big, bigger underneath. It's actually, instead of just being two chunks, it's six chunks. Uh, I had a little bit of a lag spike there. Got to love, love it when the game does that to you. And, but this is how those machines are currently being powered up. These two... Uh, water mills I put the the generators on the inside put that way that's going up. I think I'm getting about 150 RF a tick <coughs> Excuse me again there um, You know 75 out of each so that's just going straight up the wire keeping all those machines up there powered up And I've got another set right here. I just hadn't linked them together. I did dig a tunnel underneath I'm going to link them together and put a power cell involved when I get a test rack system involved um one quick thing I should have showed you on my way down, but I didn't do it. Oh, I've got this automated. I just throw my ores in here, it smelts them, and automatically it just makes ingots for me. As you can see, my chest started getting pretty loaded. i got to clean it out a little bit. Um, but that way I have room for expansions here. You can see I made my floor three levels. You know, we got the ceiling level for the basement. i got a dirt level there to hide cables and stuff. Then I've got the main floor of the shop. That's where I'm going to put most of my machines as I get them up and going. Um, but that's the game plan. All my big machines I'll put downstairs. All my little stuff I'll bring upstairs. 
all my storage stuff that I want down here, I'll build in here. If I need to, I can just punch out a wall. That's one good thing about having an underground layer like this. You ever run out of space, you just punch a hole in a wall, expand it on out. But that's where we're currently at. Um, here's the rest of my machines I hadn't set up. You know, I hadn't put up the laser yet. I, ain't, I hadn't figured exactly where I want it. Um, these are just extra parts. And I hadn't put up the rock crusher yet. The rest of this is just literally everything that I brought over. I just got to find a way to store it and separate it and organize it all. It's just literally everything I brought from that cave over here. I started another mine shaft down this way. Just pretty basic, so there's not much down there. If you ever seen mining, that's it. I was clearing a little bit out in here, just getting some resources. And this is basement level two. This is where I'm probably gonna put in some more of my basic simple stuff that you know I don't I don't want to come and play with all the time all the time. You know, like my mob grinder and stuff like that to get mob essences to mass produce stuff or anything like that. Um, I'm probably going to expand it a little bit, to be honest. I already thought, you know, I need to either lift the roof or lower the floor or something. <coughs> but I hadn't figured that all out quite yet. Um, so that's where that currently is. We'll head on back up here. Double check. I am out of creative mode. Always got to be careful that when you're going in and out. I do not like to cheat. The only thing I like to use creative mode for is simply what I just showed you is if I want to do an aerial view scout or um, move stuff, um, I'll cover that one more time just for any of you who wants to know. Basic survival playing single player. If you ever want to go into creative mode and out, here's one simple easy way to do it if you don't know the command to remember it. You go to options, click your global button, switch it to world, and in your inventory right here, you have to have all three of these great hot grayed out. You just literally right click to remove it left click to add it and you then you go to cheat mode and anything you have selected here um, becomes available so I'll go back see here's here's my windows now go right into creative mode adventure mode survival mode oh sorry it tells you what it's gonna switch it to turn your magnet on and off enable the rain change your time of days and you know heal your player Real simple, if anyone's wanting to know how to do that, that is one way to do it. And then you just simply go back to recipe mode. But make sure you had all that off. Um, and then you're back to normal. Because if you're in, if you're in creative mode, then your any on stuff like this won't work. So, um, where we're we at, let's see. That's right, I need to build a redstone furnace. What's the next machine I was wanting to need to build? I need... Copper gears, not a problem. My gear tablet, thank you. And eight, yep, that should make two gears. Posh all in there, let you start creating while we hit, head on to the next project, which is going to be some gold, some redstone. Oh, how that little question mark there works. If anyone's question, you know, when I, you're here in a recipe and you want to load something, you when you have it in your screen like this, you just hold the shift and click the left click the <coughs> question mark there, and it auto populates the recipe for you. Very simple. We need some bricks. That means I need to cook up some basic clay. And it's all I need is some basic clay. Throw clay in there. Throw coal. Uh, what else was I needing? Whoa, where did you come from? Um, copper gears, redstone. Oh, basic. I still had one from the laser. I tell you, I'm going to put the laser back up for too much longer. We got our gears yet? Two gears. Thank you. We have our clay yet? Up. Oh. Not quite yet. Three, yeah, a little bit more time. So it was gear, gear, 
machine frame, redstone, and I forgot. Oh, that's still not there. Now we're just waiting on our clay. Yep, just four bricks. Five, come on. I need three more. I am just building the basic. You can build multiple layers to this thing based on the machine frame in the middle. Um, and if you once you have the basic, you can just do simple stuff to upgrade. And then you can make it secure. If you if if you're playing in a multiplayer game, you don't want to share it. So come on, last one, last one. We can do it. Okay, game glitch. Have to deal with that sometimes when you're recording. You get small little glitches like that. And now we have a redstone furnace. Ta-da! Flip that back out before I forget. I will be putting in an elevator quick doing the staircase thing up and down, up and down. I almost thought about putting everything downstairs just for the time being. Oop, turning dark. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, redstone furnace there. Let's open up the floor here. Y'all get to see my... Okay. Connector there, connector there. Cable to cable, cable to cable. And then it should be connecting and gain the power. Yep. You're already full power because you already previously charged. Very simple. Like I said, it should be about 150 RF a tick coming in right there. Now you can't, you can put, once the watt cable or wires ran, you can't put a block in its place to hide it, but you can't ever put it where the little connectors are. So, just a little information. So that's got a redstone furnace, so now we can cook some of that stuff up. So, with that being said, let's look at some energy. If I spell it right, in er G blocks. Okay, we have the basic leadstone. That should be the weakest. Oh, that's just the frame. Well, if that's the frame, where's the... There it is. Okay, you can hold up to 400k. The hardened can go to 2 million. Redstone can go to 20 million. And the resonating can go to 80 million. Yeah, I see those are pretty good store blocks. Let's see how hard the art harden is to build. It's bronze electron tubes. <coughs> oh, but we can upgrade the lead once we have it. Okay, we'll just start with the lead then. 10. So some, we need some 10 electron tubes, which is just going to be 5, 10, and 2 redstone. We'll get the basics of that going. Well, that's going, oops, wrong one. Ten, 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 aluminum, ten. Need some redstone. Don't need as much as we're getting, but we'll have it. I need a bucket of water, which I luckily already have a little bit of water source right here from building the water mills. Okay. 
Okay, Carpenter, Thermiotic. Ah, uh, brought the wrong thing. Just thought about it. Um. I brought water and I meant to bring sand. I don't think I had sand. I think I actually turned all my sand into um, glass. Ooh, did, had a hole there. Didn't know I had a hole there. Might be a good place to put up a laser later if it's already pre-drilled for me. <coughs> oh. That's why it's not working. Ta-da! Tin! Okay, we're gonna need elect. Yeah, yeah, this guy. We're also gonna need lead, and I don't have lead here. Really? How do I not have lead? You like literally find lead right where you find silver. If that's all the lead I have, I'm really, really shocked. Even four glass, four lead, a block of redstone. Yeah, see, I'm blind as a bat. It's right there. Look at all that lead. And I was missing one piece. What was that missing piece? Oh. Okay. May be in trouble there. Because I do not think I have <coughs> the rubber needed. To make it now. Wow, look at that oak tree.
Oops. Well, we'll bring it down. I get five pieces of resin. Good thing with having this furnace up here now, I don't have to go downstairs. Just cook it right there. Do you need to come here? Turn all these off. Should be middle former extruding rolling. I like this using metal former because you can actually use one copper to get a plate versus the ha the other hammer. You use the hammer thing, you only get, you have to use two ingots to get it. Cutting, extruding should be, I want to say cutting is my best option. So there's the scissors, you only get two. Metal former in extruding mode off the straight ingot, you get three. Cutting mode, you also get three. So I could have just went straight extruding and got it. This works too, though. See, you're getting three instead of two. Definitely a better way to go when you can get the machines up and going. And I did not bring a piece of iron with me. How dare I? I know I needed a new piece of iron. Okay. Really? Sometimes that recipe thing glitches on us. Oh, that's why. Okay, that, that, that. Two tubes there. And four lead right. And now we have a leadstone energy cell. Just like that. Go to configuration mode. This should be the back. That should be input. Oh. As you can see, now it's starting to charge. Just have to turn it on. Now that'll make the surplus a little bit of power. Oh, it's not being wasted. Eventually, like I said, I'll get all this rerouted when I 
start moving on to the test rack phases and things like that. So one thing I need to check is at Ender. <coughs> cool. These are what I'll eventually want to move on to. Is all these other capabilities of power because that bar going up right there um, is supposed to have a loss over time. I'm not sure exactly the ratio of the loss, but I'll want to be upgrading here, and I'll probably be looking at um, instead of staying with the leadstone, I'll probably be looking at the these guys, the capacitor banks, um, until I can get to enter I/O status. But these guys require lots of stuff like this: an Ender electron tube. You got to have I have Enders, Ender stone itself, which I have to make. <coughs> Excuse me again. So, a lot of work to do. Still got, still trying to get some of this stuff figured out and done, guys. Um, hope the episodes turn out to be pretty good, guys. Um, hadn't received too many comments yet. I do know I'm still early in the series, and not many people's probably found um, playing the series yet. So, let me know what y'all think. Oh, I still need to build the net to get rid of the beehive. Got to do that. Net, 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 net. Net. Um, maybe it's not a net. Maybe it's a scoop. Ah, scoop. Oh, wool sticks. Pretty simple. So I'll see about getting that built off screen and get rid of the beehive. I have one here and I think one over there by the Tinker Smelter you see way back there in the back above my head. So, again, hope you're liking the series. Um, please leave a comment, hit the share, like button, something grow my channel, guys. I do appreciate it. Thank you very much, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.